bridge had closed. But this statue right here, uh, they said that Greg Carter put it up for his mother. Mm. But I remember going to the statue. I can't recall what it is, what's on it, because it's been so many years ago. But Greg Carter did put that up, and that's cute. Now, if you go to the corner there, over there, Walgreens, he did plant like some flowers, uh, a corner on that floor. And I think some of the flowers, they must be annuals, they bloom, can still come back. But Walgreens, well, this, um, so you're saying that Walnut Park and at Northwest there was a community care program? Yeah, but this is Wildbridge. No, this is Walnut Park. Right, this is what I was saying, Wildbridge. But right, I I'm had sorry. it mixed up, but that's all right, but this is Walnut Park. That's why I'm like, this is what? <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes now, Walnut Park closed, but they had a program in the back. Matter of fact, they had like a program where people could go in. I guess it was part of caring communities. I never went there, but I heard that some people saying that they would go in there and you could get jobs and they assisted you in a lot of different things, but I think that might have been after they closed. But see, like I think when they were kind of open, they knew they were closing, so they started bringing in programs or something in that school for so a long, a good while. They had some things going on over there. Um, but at Northwest and Wall Bridge, they both had care communities where it was for the community and they uh, worked with the parents. It was really a lot working with the parents, even though they was in the school for the students also. They uh, let you hold meetings. They were concerned with the students, and they were also concerned with the parents in the neighborhood who were and uh, who were not the parents of the students. Because when the drugs started coming into our areas, uh, they were up there at Northwest. And uh, they were working, and they were doing marches. We were doing marches. I can't remember what year it was. They was doing the care communities, and they would let they would come in and let us have meetings and be there and ask us what was our problems and this and that. And I remember the school over there, Mark Twain. They had a meeting place we could go, and uh, like I said, they asked us our problems. So they came up with the program that we were going to march. So we used to march. Uh, if the places was far, we would catch vans there. But we had police escorts. And we would march, I mean, old and the young. And we would target the dope areas, the houses. And we would march around. we get literally in front of the dope house and say, march. And say, I don't know what we used to say. That crap, you got to go. You got to go up on, uh, up on hope, down with dope. Uh, uh, out with crack, we want our neighborhoods back. Something like that we used to holler, you know. And uh, like I say, we literally, um, and I think the guy who, was over it, Mr. Muhammad. He got promoted, and then Mr. King took over. After Mr. King took over, I don't know, and the, another lady who worked with us, she kind of left the program. And then I didn't hear any, we didn't hear anything. And then I think we got so, we didn't want to march because um, I think it was some individuals, not to say it was one time we was marching, we went over to help the neighborhood over by Prince Hall. We went over there to help them, and I mean, it was an old couple, like 80-something years old, holding hands, they wanted to march. And uh, we didn't like it because, the, you know, I guess the officer, it wasn't no guess, I know, you know, while we was marching, they went over there and tarred.
and some people while we was marching. Just went over there messing with the guys, you know, and what the frisk them and all that. And see, we didn't appreciate that at all. We talked among ourselves, you know, we didn't want to be in nothing like that, you know. And uh, they did that, and we kind of walked away, so, you know, we kind of was like, uh uh-uh, uh, he kind of getting too much, you know, he going a little too far, you know. Because they always said if they get shooting or this or that, we were supposed to jump down, hit the street or, you know, just in case or whatever, you know, we was prepared for whatever kind of violence, you know, always listen to what they said or whatever. But we had police escort, but here the police getting out of line doing. So we, so really we, yeah, we stopped going, stopped marching. So I guess maybe without the people then, you know, the, the program, which probably the program might have been, I don't know. I don't know, but um, around.